So my name is Jen Guile. Uh, I work at Nginx, part of F5, and I'm our head of product marketing for Nginx. So we have a large open source uh, fleet of projects, but the one that we're best known for is Nginx open source. Uh, web server, reverse proxy, content cache, runs half the internet. And so we would love to see more people using Nginx open source, uh, both inside and outside of Kubernetes. I don't know that we have a primary way yet. I would say there's broadly three ways. So one is what we're experimenting here uh, at KubeCon with as a, a demo platform. Uh, one is in asynchronous events that we're doing. You know, we might host a webinar and then let them access uh, instruct on demand later so that they can tinker around with the lab. And then the third way that we're experimenting with it is uh, as an actual part of webinars where people log in and instead of it being that like, I'm going to sit here for an hour, uh, they actually do the, the same demo that the person leading the webinar demonstrated. Here at the conference, we're using it as our demo platform. That way it's quick and easy for our technical staff to just spin up a demo you know, in a minute instead of having to mess around with their own environment and you know, deploying Kubernetes and all that stuff. So you can see up here, uh, I think he's doing a demo on our WAP. And so he's got a mix of the lab environment going as well as extra windows that open up so that he can simulate like what a real experience would look like to deploy our WAF. Excellent. But you know, in kind of a contained environment. The booth just opened, so the feedback that we're getting so far is from our booth staff. They really like it because it's simple and easy for them to use. Like it's, you know, the combination of a web UI and command line. We are using it as part of our major events that we do. We do two events a year that are education and community oriented. One's called Microservices March, the other's called Nginx Sprint. And we use it as part of a workshop. So again, like people come, they want to learn how to use Nginx. We can do that for them with very little setup. We don't have to send them a prerequisite list anymore. Yeah, you know, the thing that was holding us back from being able to do more hands-on training and uh, education was the hands-on component being something we could spin up easily and recycle easily. And so while we've been doing lots of live hands-on workshops for years, those had a longer planning process. Like it was just more time consuming for us. And so with a platform where we can build it in advance and then scale it out quickly, that was the main requirement we were looking to satisfy. Bye.